tight enough, Mako. I'd expect a tighter line from you. I know you're better than that. You're off by like five inches. Yeah, I know. Hey, look, someone's coming down the pass. Mako's so lady, she rocks this pass. It's so freaking cool. Nothing moves sweeter than Uzi's fastest. That's why they're called Impact Blue. like you, Mako. Concentrate! What's going on in that hat of yours, huh? it all went down i was wondering and i can't believe that you got dumped by ikitani you're so way out of his league anyway i know you've said that before but still it's coming together for me now no wonder you've been driving like a loose cannon you're the type of person who's driving mirrors exactly how you're feeling racing with your emotions that's your style do now being in love means you accept everything about the other person the way they are i mean that's what love's all about <laughs> you won't know if she's waiting for you or not till you go now get out of here right now or you're fired <laughs> Meet me at 8, at the Kamameshi billboard where we met. I'll be there. Boss is right. I'm so stupid, she was always straight up with me. But I couldn't do it back. I'm such a jackass! My feet are killing me. I hate heels. Oh, please. Please. Just one more chance. Uh, no! There's an accident? I'm never wearing high heels again. Them how anyone would want to break up with you. You're awesome. And he looked like he was over the moon crazy for you, too. But I guess that's guys for you. Maybe you two got your meeting times mixed up. I thought about that, so I stayed there waiting for him. I was there forever after we were supposed to meet, but nothing. And the jerk never even bothered to call you? <sighs> so why don't you just call him? I couldn't be that forward, you know that. Besides, after waiting there for three extra hours, I was humiliated. And the fact that he hasn't even bothered to call me after that night? I'm pretty sure that means he's not interested. <sighs> Sounds like you were really stoked over this guy. That really sucks. Stoked enough that it jacked with how you're handling yourself behind the wheel. Yeah. And I was ready to hand it all over to him. Huh? And what? Me. <laughs> tell if you're some naive little girl or a walking set of brass balls. I really can't. 
You gotta fill me in. What's so special about this guy anyway? Mm. It's hard to explain. He's sincere and gentle. He was never pushy. Whenever we started talking about cars, time just soared by. We must have really gotten into it. That was just part of the magic, I guess. Uh, this is Sayuki. Shingo, long time no talk. How's the big bad world been treating you lately? Uh, just fine. But this isn't a social call. What? Are you serious? What's the Lan Evo squad doing in Miyogi? I'm wondering if the news had reached you yet. Lan Evos with Tochigi plates showed up in Miyogi not too long ago. That's okay. I hear the night kids lost their asses to them too. Of course it was that idiot Takashi had to lose to those speed monkeys on our home turf. I know who these guys are. A fellow named Kyoichi Suda was their leader. He's an excellent racer who hails from the Niko Irahazaka course. I know you're here now, Kyoichi. The only question is what do you have up your sleeve? We should do this more often, Shingo. Yeah. If you didn't know it already, the night kids are a joke around here. Well, that's a hell of a nice way to greet an old friend. Takashi, I'd like you to meet Sayuki. We grew up together. How you doing? Damn, she's hot. You might have heard it already through the grapevine, but Takashi is the one who raced him. Glad to meet you. I can't believe you lost to those dudes on your home turf. How could you do something so stupid? <laughs> I'm here to defend Goonma tonight. And before I'm done, you're gonna find yourself buried deep at the bottom of Miyogi Valley. This is happening, but we still got a long way to go before the finish line. If I don't stop these guys, then who the hell else is gonna be able to? <laughs> They're a team of Lan Evo racers. Call themselves the Emperors. It all went down right after Takashi had lost to the Red Suns in an uphill race. I don't think he'd fully gotten over getting whooped yet. He must have been feeling pretty out of sync to fail twice like that. Whatever. He's not the most consistent person on the planet, and he certainly folds under pressure. Tell you what, Shingo, why don't you put a freaking cork in it? But nobody can drive a 3 2 like he can. I gotta give him that much. In fact, I'd say he's probably the best 3-2 racer we got around our region. But even he couldn't keep up with the fire burning off the back of that Lan Evo, which lets you know just how fast they are. They said to give them a month and they'd knock out all the competition in Gunma. Sooner or later, they'll be here. So you better watch your back, Sayuki. Miyogi's close to Usi. It won't take much for them to get to you. I know. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> People don't call us Impact Blue because we sit on our asses and let every loser who comes through roll over us. Man, this chick is aggressive. I'm just trying to help you, give you a little heads up. You're better off avoiding these guys. You should know by now to trust what I'm saying. What the hell are you getting at with that, Shingo? You think we're not good enough to deal with the jerks, is that it? I wouldn't say something like that to you. You know me better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncy. 
We might just be chicks to you, but don't count us out. We don't back down from anyone. Never have, never will. Uh, uh, yeah, I believe you. Is that all you have to say to me? Great, then I'm leaving. She can be such a stubborn pain in the ass. Don't you come crying to me, okay? So in case you hadn't figured it out, I brought you here because I wanted her to know just how dangerous the Emperors are. You could have at least tried to help out. Earth to Moron, are you even listening to me? Dude. She's so hot. Hmm? All right, boys. Don't ask me where I heard it, but I know that a Lan Evo team called the Emperors are planning to pull an attack on Gunma. A buddy of mine was telling me about that the other day. Seems everyone's been talking about them lately. Yeah. I heard some crap about them cutting the Night Kid sticker in half and putting it upside down on one of their spoilers. Some kind of victory thing they do. Who would pull that? You really think they're gonna come up here? What are you gonna do if they show up, Sayuki? You gonna take them on? You know, dude, that's a really stupid question. Wouldn't you say so, Mako? Yep, any challenge is worth taking. We're the fastest Uzi has to offer. I mean, they don't call us Impact Blue because we drag around the curves. So that's where we stand. But we need you guys to help us out, okay? The second any one of you sees those Lan Evos, call me on my cell and tell me exactly where they are so we can take them down. It's been two days, and we haven't seen or heard a thing from the Lan Evo guys. Maybe they're not coming here to Usi. I have to be honest with myself, there's a big part of me that'll feel a huge relief if they don't. I know I haven't been at the top of my game lately. And if I had to square off against them tonight, I'm sure it wouldn't be the best race I've ever run, not by a long shot. Clear this haze from my mind. Somehow, I just want to forget about Ikatani. I want that rejection out of my mind. Come on! <laughs> Sayuki, what is this? Do you want to tell me just what in the hell you're doing in my bathroom? Are you stupid? This isn't the time for you to be lounging in the freaking bath. What's going on? I came to pick you up for blowing this joint. Now move your ass! I don't get it. Where are we going? Up to Uzi Pass. The Lan Evo jerks just rolled into town. <sighs> Hurry and put on some underwear, for God's sake! Just give me a second, you freak! Evo's coming up the mountain, guys. Oh, man. It's the Emperor's all right. I can't believe they actually showed up. We need to call Sayuki and Mako now. Yeah. For real? The Lan Evo's just showed up? Same damn Emperor Jagoffs you told me about earlier. We're on our way up there right now, and I thought you'd want to know. Thanks for the heads up. Hey, Takashi. The Lan Evo squad just showed up in Usi. You screwing with me? I'm not. Now let's go. You got it. I see is a bunch of drift punks with dumbass looks on their faces. Gunma doesn't seem like such a killer place for real racers. This is amateur hour. Let's get out of here and tell Kiyoichi he's got an easy kill waiting. Sure.
how you fellas doing. If you came looking for a race, we'll take the challenge, because our cell 80 is the fastest car you'll find anywhere around here. Hey, I got a question. Anything going on between you and that cell 80 chick? I couldn't really tell at the restaurant. Hmm. Me and Sayuki, you serious? Nah, it's not like that. We're just friends. The two of us have been friends since we were kids. We lived near each other, went to the same schools, that kind of stuff. You know, we're just regular friends, man. That's cool. I know. Uh, you know I just put it together. You totally dig aggressive chicks, don't you? Uh, well... Forget her. She's a strong-willed pain in the ass who'll walk all over you. Yeah, she doesn't listen to anything anyone else has to say. Does her own thing. Even if they are the fastest in Uzi, they don't stand a chance against the Lan Evos. She thinks they're gonna be easy to whip, but she's wrong. Even I can admit their drift technique is an amazing thing for freaking real. There's probably no one in Uzi who could hold the candle to those chicks. But with pure speed racing, they got no experience. That kind of driving requires control that's simply out of their reach. Their control's good, yeah, but it's not... I don't know, it's just not crisp enough. They'll be outclassed by a serious four-wheel drive. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You've been there. And I'm not saying they're slow because they're chicks or anything totally stupid like that. I just know the facts as they stand. <laughs> So you're in a sill 80, huh? And your chicks to boot. That's fun. Looks like a good time. What do you say we play a little round and round? I don't think that's such a good idea. Kiyoichi will kick your ass. You know that's not why we're here, man. We came up here to scout the place, and that's all we're supposed to do. Shut up. Don't be such a buzzkill, Nancy. I mean, we came all the way up here, didn't we? So back off. I don't see the damage in us having a little fun while we're at it, as long as I win. Sure, dude, but what if they're good and you actually lose to them? What? Don't insult me. Why don't you go ahead and explain something to me, Ren? How could my badass Evo 4 lose to a couple of hairspray snorting bimbos like those two chicks? Hear that, Mako? He screwed up now. That'll be the last dumb thing he says today. People who insult women racers just because they're women are the worst kind of jerks. So that's the last straw. We're not going easy on you. Her eyes got that serious look in them. She's faster than a hydroplaner when she looks like that. Cause that's when her emotions fuel her. We're gonna run a downhill race. And since Usi is a narrow course, we're gonna do it cat and mouse style. I'm sure you're familiar with it. If the mouse gets away, it's over. If not, we keep switching until someone wins. You cool with that? That'll work. Just tell me which position you went first. Since you're the outsider, I'm gonna give you the choice. You know, I'll follow you on the first run. That way I can check out what you're made of from behind. Sounds like we're ready to get started then. After we exit the first turn, we'll kick it up to full speed, and that'll be the start of the race. Think you're capable of remembering all of that? Or is that too much? I'm good. Let's do it. Hey, you gonna be okay doing this alone? Didn't I just say a second ago that I was good? I'm one of the top racers on our team. Hell, pal, I'm even better than you. I'm more than positive that my Evo 4 is gonna wipe the road with some lame-ass sill lady driven by two chicks. Right, let's go. We've got this in the bag. I'm not losing to some guy who insults female drivers. You look ready. You really think you're up for this? Whenever you are, Sayuki. Hit the gas. Should be an easy win. Even on its worst day, his Evo 4 would never lose to some spent Sil 80. I'm surprised they're really going through with this. 
When it comes down to it, women can have a hell of a lot more courage than men do. But can they beat the emperors? I mean, those guys laid waste to the night kids not too long ago. That Evo 4 is an extremely high-powered four-wheel drive. Anyone else would have run away. But if Sayuki and Mako can't win, then I can't think of anybody who's got the skills of the car to do it. Right. And I don't know who it was named them Impact Blue, but they certainly deserve it. They're Uzi's fastest by a mile. All we can do now is believe in them, because it seems like we both have faith in one central thing, that the Sil Lady is the best here. for a couple of dumb chicks, but it's their course, so they know better than anyone how to attack it. No cars ahead of us, girl. You can kick it out and drift right on through this corner. <laughs> My Evo Force drift is more powerful than any piece of crap FR's drift by a long shot. What I got is a high-speed four-wheel drive drift with an engine always on full blast. Great, sister. Grip the next corner and hug the inner wall. You'll skip like a stone. So far, we're about even. I'm not sure if it's the Evo 4 itself or the driver's technique that's letting him keep up with us. It's like you were saying earlier, the swinging drift involves so many variables, you kind of have to be a master of all trades. Everything depends on how you use the tires. Yeah. So when was the last time you saw this Sil 80 race? Has it been like years or what? Nah, it's been since last spring. Then maybe your driving style's changed a little bit. Huh? I've experienced it too, you know. After a horrifying loss, even the best racer can really change his tone. Sometimes for the better and sometimes for the worse. Yeah. There are plenty of talented racers in the world. Like Akina's 8-6. He knows what he's doing. That's an FR racer who could beat the pants off a four-wheel drive. But that 8-6 is an exception, not the rule. You know that. It probably would have been a different story if those girls had even had a chance to see the 8-6 race before, but they haven't. They're blind to what they've gotten into. Drivers just plain don't know what they're doing. I'm not losing to this creep no matter what. This is unreal. Her driving is completely different now. Her steering's definitely gotten way better. It must have been the race against the 8-6. That had to have been what tightened the screws on her skills. completely opened her eyes as a driver, like she's never done before. You can do this, Mako. This race is yours to lose. <laughs> that Evo 4 isn't as sharp at the corners as we are. Dude's not as great as I thought he'd be. Ten to one says he's not the guy who beat the night kids in Miyogi. Had to be someone else. If that's the case, I'd hate to keep letting him stare at our ass. We're finishing him off at the next corner. That's C-121. I'm telling you something you already know, but you're a hell of a lot faster on the straightaways tonight. Now you're going to be entering the corner at a much higher speed than you're used to. So don't forget to adjust for that when we get there, all right? Excellent. No cars ahead. Time to nail it. Go! <laughs> if those 
those freaking chicks can clear that corner that easy, then my Evo 4 could do it no sweat. Here I come! <laughs> Going too wide. I can't stay on the same line. I'm gonna crash. It's over, Mako. You beat him. favor and don't tell Kyoichi anything about this. It'll just be between us. Uh... Sayuki, what's up? Where the hell's the Lan Evo squad? I thought they were here. Aw, you're too late, Shingo. The race is already said and done. What? You're already finished? That sucks. But don't feel too bad about it. I mean, we lost on our own turf too, you know? What are you talking about, dude? We beat their asses. Huh? I said we whipped their tails, stupid. They won? Mako was really shining tonight. She's a genius behind the wheel. Cut it out. <laughs> Let's get out of here. See you around, Shingo. Hey, wait. You know, we came all the way out here to root for you, and now you're just gonna run away? Dude, that sill lady is giving off some serious vibes, I swear. Those chicks are the real deal. You rocked it out last night, Mako. I don't know, maybe the guy driving the Lan Evo last night wasn't really that good of a racer. That's a load of crap. He actually had a pretty tight grip on his style. If we raced him before we raced Akina's 8-6, it might have been a challenge for you, but it timed out just right. Less angled cornering has been our focus ever since our loss. We're getting better, and you have proved that with every single turn. But at C-121, when we went in for the kill, you slipped right back into your flashy, dramatic style of drifting. I guess I entered that corner a lot faster than I should have. It's sad, I'm almost getting nervous just thinking about it now. <laughs> well, it sure as hell wasn't funny last night, okay? I thought I was gonna freaking die. I gotta say, you're one heck of an emotional racer, Mako. You change into someone else when you get behind the wheel of that car. I feel this huge sense of relief right now. But I still have a long way to go. Like I'm chasing after something that's just way beyond that blue sky, you know? Something intangible. I'm not gonna need a man for a long time. Just you watch me, Katani. Bang. <laughs> You catch a cold or something? Cause you sound like absolute hell. Nah, I don't think so. I'm cool. <laughs> 